Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays and today we are going to create this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration 30 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our logo. Let's call this logo. And width and height I'm going to set this to 1000 by 1000. But it's completely up to you. You can set it whatever you want depending upon your logo. Just click on OK. So now I have this logo which you can use whatever logo you want. So let's just drag it into this composition. And I'm going to quickly select this, press S and let's scale this down a little bit. Something like this. So now let's go under the main comp and I'm going to drag our logo composition over here. So let me just quickly scale this to something like 70%. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. So now let's see how we can create this animation. So before we continue, if you enjoy the content, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will never miss another amazing video like this. And also make sure to smash that like button so that the algorithm will boost my channel and I can bring more amazing tutorials to you. So first I'm going to select the layer, then I'm going to select the rectangle tool so that we can create a mask for it. So make sure the layer is selected. After that you can just simply click somewhere around here and then just simply drag it something like this. Then select the layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. After that, select the layer once again. Then you can click on these endpoints and hold down the shift key so that you will select only these two endpoints. After that, you can use arrow keys and hold down the shift key and just move these little bit above. Something like this. And again, select the logo layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then select the lower one. Then select this, hold down shift and just click on this. After that, just simply move these endpoints. So just keep on doing it until the full logo is revealed. Just make sure to select the layer instead of this mask. And just keep on doing this. So there you go. Now we have created all of these mask copies. These are just individual parts of this logo. Now let's quickly animate this. But first let's select all of these layers and I'm going to set them to 3D. Now we can select the layers, press R for rotation and let's zoom in a little bit and let's move around one and a half second and let's add a keyframe for Y rotation and let's move to the beginning and over here I'm going to change its rotation to something like negative 90. Just like this. So if I play back here you can see we have this sort of animation. Also I'm going to one more thing. I'm going to select this layer. Press P for position. And again at one and a half second. I'm going to set a position keyframe. Like this. And in the beginning I'm going to select all the layers. And then just simply move them a little bit above. Using the arrow keys. So that we have this sort of animation. Now we can select all the layers, press U, so it will show all the keyframes. Now you can select all of these and after that you can right click under keyframe assistant, easy or you can press F9. After doing this, you can go under the graph editor by clicking over here. And if your graph looks different, then make sure that you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. After that, we can select these endpoints and I'm going to make this look something like this and we can probably select this and let's just drag it somewhere around here so now if I go back and if I play it here you can see we have this sort of animation and let's make it more interesting so for that I'm going to first select all the layers press U to close all the layers and now we are going to quickly offset these layers so first I'm going to zoom in a little bit then I'm going to select all the layers that are below and I'm going to move them three frames ahead and just keep on doing this so that all the layers are three frames apart something like this so now if I play back here you can see we have this animation and which is exactly what we want 
So now we are pretty much done with this. So let's quickly select all of these comps and we can right click and pre-compose this. Let's call this animation. Just click on OK. So first I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it twice. And after that I'm going to set the these layers to 3D. And let me just quickly search for fill effect. And let's drag it on to the bottom layers. And let's change the color to something like pink. And on this one I'm going to change it to yellow just like this now again we can zoom in and let's move to one and a half second and let's select all of these layers and let's press p for position and let's add a keyframe r for rotation and let's add keyframe for all of these and after that we are going to just simply go somewhere around here and let's rotate these so let me just quickly select all of these and I'm going to rotate it something like this and also I'm going to select the bottom layers bottom two layers and I'm going to just move them little bit below in the Z space and I'm going to select the last layer and I'm going to move it little bit further something like this so if I play back here you can see we have this sort of animation now let's select all of these layers, press U to reveal all the keyframes and I'm going to quickly select all of these, press F9 to ease them then let's go under the graph and I'm going to change it to look something like this so let's change it and after that I'm going to move these keyframes to the very beginning or somewhere around here so that we have this sort of animation just keep on playing with these so until you get something that you like and after that I'm going to select these layers and somewhere in the middle I'm going to quickly change their position so this is completely up to you you can randomly place them wherever you want there you go so now if I play back here you can see we have this really interesting animation and after that we can select all of these layers by pressing Ctrl A then press U so that all the layers will collapse something like this so we are pretty much done with this now let's add some glitches to this and in order to do that we are going to first create a new adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer we are going to apply an effect called transform so just search for it and just drag it onto this and after that I am going to quickly select some point and let's change its scale to something like this and after that we are going to select this rectangle tool and just make sure the layer is selected then randomly create a mask something like this after that I'm going to trim the layer something like this and let's trim the other end let me just quickly zoom in just make it couple of frames long and after that just select the layer press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to make this even smaller and on this one I'm going to quickly select this and I'm going to move it to a random place somewhere like this and you can play around with the anchor point and position however you want this is something that you can experiment on your own so you can see we have these two minor glitches something like this and let me just quickly select this press ctrl D and let's move it somewhere around here and let's increase its size and I'm going to change its position let's use the arrow keys so select the layer and let me just quickly move it something like this again press ctrl D and let's make this smaller and we can probably have a couple of these overlaying and now let's select the mask and I'm going to make this smaller so let's select the top two layers and let's make it smaller after that we can select the layers 
Uh, let's move it somewhere around here. Then just play around with the anchor and position until you find something that looks good. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. So now we can quickly select all of these layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Let's move them to the top and then just simply select this and randomly place it somewhere around here. Then just go inside the comp and just move it so that you have a little bit of variation. Just like this. So if I play back here, you can see we have created these glitches. Now let's select all of these, press Ctrl D one last time and I'm going to again move them little bit ahead and just randomly select these and let's change their positions. Just do it randomly. It's completely up to you. Yeah, so I think this is looking fine. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this sort of animation which is exactly what we want. You will notice one more thing that we have these lines over here. So in order to fix that, I'm going to drag another copy of logo and let's place it on top of all of these layers. And I'm going to quickly move it to somewhere around here and let's place it. And I'm going to scale this to 70% as well so that the logo is fits completely. And after that, we can select this, press T and let's add a little bit of opacity animation. So in the beginning, let's set this to zero. So now you can see that our logo merges with it. And now there are no lines visible. So we are pretty much done with this. Now let's add some really nice glow. So for that, we can again create an adjustment layer. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And on this one, let's apply glow. Let's drag it onto this. Just make sure that this layer is below the logo. And now you can play around with the options. So this is completely experimental and you can play around with this however you want. So yeah, I think this is looking good. So now if I play back here, you can see we have created our logo animation. There's one last thing that you can do to enhance it more is you can add a solid at the end. So let's add a solid background. Just click on OK and let's place this all the way at the bottom. And on this one, let's apply four color gradient. Just drag the effect. And after that, we are going to change the colors. So let's change this to dark. Something like this. And let's change this to dark as well. Because these two colors are the same that we picked over here. Now let's quickly align them so there you go you can just simply play around with the position of these colors and if you want you can just move it a little bit ahead so there you go now we have created this really amazing logo reveal animation and the best thing is that you can just simply go inside the logo comp and you can replace it with a different logo and all the effects will remain same now there's a bonus effect that you can apply to this it's completely up to you so you can select the main comp and let's drag it onto the composition panel and after that i'm going to select this layer press ctrl d and let's select the top one and on this one i'm going to apply cc lens effect so just drag it something like this and now we can quickly animate its size so let's select this and somewhere around here let's add a keyframe and let's move a couple of frames ahead and let's increase this to something like this. So if I select this, press U. Now let me just quickly see what we have created. So here you can see we have this really nice effect onto this. You can probably play around with the position of the keyframes. You can play around with these values however you want. So this is how you can create this modern logo reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. The project file for this tutorial are available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, that's it for this tutorial. My name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.